makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Here at 2018 New York Giants training camp with linebacker Tay Davis. Appreciate you taking time. Uh, thank you for having me. One thing that I always want to stress when I talk to people about the game or when we talk about players and their positions, yeah. people tend to look at size, right? Mm -hmm. And they make a big emphasis on it. But all the things that you do at linebacker has nothing to do with you being 220. Can you, for us, debunk that myth of size being a skill set uh, in football? Uh, I mean, you know, definitely I feel, you know, undersized, but at the same time, you know, it comes down to heart. And when it comes to things like, you know, getting out in coverage and different things like that, you know, my size allows me to do that, you know, better than someone who could, you know, be 250 or something like that. So, you know, it definitely comes with its pros and cons, but, um, you know, we still got to play the game the same. You still work on your technique, um, working using your hands and things. And that's what I've been trying to hone in on is just getting better with my technique to make me a better player. It was interesting because we're here with the Giants and you talk about inside linebackers like Carl Banks, Gary Reason. These are like 6'4", 250, right? right. Now in that 3-4 defense too. Mm -hmm. And so now in this 3-4, here you're playing on the inside about 225. But you are probably, like you said, more apt to deal with today's game. How is playing inside a little bit different than what you did at Chattanooga to where you are now uh, as a pro? Um, it just you know shows how the game has changed. Um, you know right now it's more of you know, a matchup league, so you know that definitely helped me out and it allows me you know to be able to play the run, but also you know it gives me a chance to showcase what I can do out of space and um, be able you know it should prove that I can play in space and cover and do things like that. So. When you look at your game, one of the toughest things to do for a player is to critique their own game. So you talked about a little bit about it earlier of where you want to get better, where you want to uh, improve. Do you still feel as though you have some more room to grow? If so, what? Oh, yes. I mean, you always have room to improve, um, definitely with my eyes and just, you know, reading my keys. Um, you know, that's one thing that's really important for linebackers. So, you know, just continue to do that and just continue to work on my footwork, using my hands, you know, just the basic, you know, techniques of just being a linebacker. I think people vastly underrate your ability versus the run, and, and here's why. Because coming up to SoCon, you talk about Wofford, you talk about the Citadel, but all these teams are an option, right? right. <laughs> that's all discipline, that's all technique. So how has playing the SoCon helped prep you for this opportunity? Um, it does help, I mean, but, you know, just playing a triple option like that and playing it, you know, that many times, you know, year in, year out, it just, you know, prepares you mentally. Um, you know, improves your discipline, your eyes, and just your overall toughness, you know, because going into those games, you know, it is a dog fight, and, you know, it's a lot of things that goes on during those games, but, um, you know, just being able to go through those, it didn't help me out a lot. Well, listen, you had a really good day out there yesterday working out. We look forward to seeing you continue to progress. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you.